Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. I'm jumping into No Man's Sky, and I'm inside of the Omega Expedition. And there are a couple of, I don't know, optional milestones. Optional milestones that we're going to be hitting up and taking part in and seeing what you get as rewards. Okay, so if I go to the Expedition and I look at the optional milestone in Phase 1, it says to document the Rendezvous world. Okay, so let's head on over to Rendezvous 1. Now, I've got a base built in Rendezvous 1. That's how I'd suggest that you get back there yourselves, people. So I'll see you when I get to my base. Now, when you go to a teleporter like this one, you can choose Space Station. It did tell us the system of Olbaranio or something weird like that. But if I can't, I think that's it there. It actually says Rendezvous 1 in greyed out text underneath. I can see Rendezvous 2, Rendezvous 3, Rendezvous 4 and Rendezvous 5. So, yeah, you could just jump using the teleporter terminal straight here inside of the old Nexus. And the good thing about doing that is you're going to have the auto return feature for after you're done. Okay, Puggy. Well, I have arrived, located inside of the station. I mean, it hasn't put me down to the actual planet, which I kind of thought it might have, but it didn't. Okay, anyway, let's have fly on out then. And we need to go to planet Suji. Suji 84D5. Now, because it's walked us to the station, we might not have the auto return thing once we get back here. But let's have a look for that planet and let's go and land on said planet, shall we? Are you planet Suji? No. Okay, now because we're going to be surveying the planet, I want to land somewhere where there's a bit of land, but also a little bit of water as well, just in case I need to scan any of the underwater life forms on the planet. Okay, well this planet is very mountainous and very hilly, and the ocean that I found here is more of a pond. But anyway, we're going to land here, and we're going to start scanning and doing whatever is required of us people. Go up, land. Sweet. Right, oh, let's have a look what's acquired of us then. So we just need to start scanning stuff. All right, let's start scanning stuff then. I'll scan a plant. I'll scan a mineral. Lovely. Looks like some creatures just over yonder hill. There we go. We've got these little guys. Hello. Scan these like ant ant eater goat things. All right, we'll scan these as well. Just scan stuff, basically. Oh, there we go. We've documented the first world. Well, wasn't that easy? Okay, well, let's go into the old expedition tab. Let's claim that then. Boom! Okay, we've got given some exosuit upgrade slots. And uh, we've been given an egg. BB. Let's have a look what BB is, shall we? It's a little blob. You can see it down on the bottom there. I'll hatch it anyway. There we go. There's a little blob like that. He's pretty darn cool, isn't he? Like a little punk rocker guy. Yeah. Well, there we go. That's your first pet. Let's see if we can do the return to Nexus. We can't. So we'll just fly back on up to the station terminus and we'll try Rendezvous 2. Got some groovy music going on. Heck yeah. Lovely jubbly. Goodbye, BB. <laughs> just leave him there on the planet. Okay, so not only did I get that, I also got 900 Quicksilver. Freaking awesomes! Okay, so I'm going to run over to the station terminus again. Say so station is some space anomaly terminus. Go to space stations and rendezvous two. We're jumping there, people. Okay. Okay, in rendezvous two. We've got to go to planet the Solver. Okay, well let's let's go there then. Now, would I say this is worth doing? Well, you know the inventory slot. So it just gave me, and I put in all three. I could have closed out that menu and just got given the actual unit thingies, the actual icons for free slots and then maybe when I hit on up the next expedition I could take them with me on that so yeah if you're gonna run these expeditions back to back they could come quite in handy there we go that's the planet I want to head down to let's go now it does look like you've only got to scan three things on the planet which is pretty darn awesome to be fair to get all that extra stuff I mean, you have to wait for the community progress to get all the way up. I mean, there's there's still rendezvous of four or five that you can't do right now because the bar's not there. But by the time you've watched this video, it probably will be up. It takes about two days, roughly, to unlock each of the bars so far. Oh, my days, this has gone proper wavy, Davy. Look at those plants, they're going mental. All right, well, I'll scan that one then. Boom. I'll scan this guy here as well. And then I'll scan that bush. I mean, that's all flora that I've scanned. Is that is that fine? It freaking is, mate. 
Okay, right, so when it gives me the actual units to input Kate in, not the units, these expansion slots, what I'm going to do is just press circle to exit out. Then it should give me those instead. There you go, I've got three of them now. I've got a new egg. Let's have a quick look at what said egg will be. If I, if I chose to hatch it, what would I get this time? Ah, it's the child of Helios. It's a Jalafash. Okay, well, that's worth having. If you haven't already got that, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? You get your own little Jalafash. Very nice, very nice indeed, very nice. Righto, well, I'm getting all this extra Quicksilver too. Quid's in, quid's in. Head back on up to the old Space Station. Well, Space Anomaly, sorry. Uh, there we go, we're hitting up Rendezvous 3. There we go, then Space Station time. Space Stations and Rendezvous 3. Let's go there. Zoom. And now we're going to Planet Racket. N43. Let's go find Planet Racket. Cool. Okay, this is a bit weird. I haven't actually scanned anything on this planet, but it says that I have. So maybe I did join the expedition. But it's acting as if I can already claim the rewards, and all I did was fly into the actual atmosphere. That's that's all I did. I didn't scan anything. Right, okay. Fine. Give me it. Lovely. Right, so I can exit out of there, and it looks like I might be getting some sort of a worm as a pet I held it over here yeah hungry worm genetic material and it is it's one of those lovely wormoid pets sweet okay that, that's pretty darn cool okay so that's what you get for rendezvous was it was that four or three I was I was free right let's head on up then let's go to the next one Pokey pokey, so now we want to go to rendezvous four. Let's go. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Okay, all right, well, I'm in the right system. Now we need to just get to the right planet. Planet UCI XX double one or whatever. Let's go there. Okay, right, well, I definitely haven't scanned anything on this one because no badge is auto popped this time. Now, what I'm thinking is I'll probably go to rendezvous five, go to the planet, scan the actual thing, scan three, so I've done my part. And then once everybody else has caught up, I should automatically pop the badge for that one. Which is going to happen maybe in the next 24 hours or so, but yeah, might as well get this video done and dust it before then. There we go! Rendezvous 4, done! Lovely jubbly. Let's go in, let's claim that then. And let's see what... Oh, Sentinel Quad Companion Egg! Nice! Okay, well that's pretty darn cool. I'm just going to exit out of there, don't really want all that sort of stuff. But yeah, now I should have a Sentinel Companion Egg. Nice! Okay, cool, yeah. And uh, yeah, let's head back on up then. Let's head back on up and let's go to the last rendezvous point. We may as well. Right, now if you have got the No Man's Sky System app installed, it should show you the progress for the community missions inside of the actual app itself. Let's uh, make it a little bit bigger. So if I hit community missions on there, you should see the tracker. And we're on five of five. And we're at about 58% according to this app. Now, if you are inside of the Spatial Anomaly, you can also see this bar above the kiosk that also shows we're at about 58%. And I think it'll be done within the next 24 to 48 hours. So anyway, we're going to head down to the last rendezvous, scan our free creatures. Okay. On the last one then, Spare Station Rendezvous 5, and we're on our way. Chicka pow pow! Chicka boom boom! Where's one of those abandoned stations? Ah, abandoned station. Okay, right, well, um, now I've got to find the door. Where's the freaking door? Let me out of this creepy hellhole. Oh, there it is. I found the door. Yes, yeah, so the last planet is Planet Dudlow. Sounds like a place in England. Okay, well, we have arrived to catch it on Planet Dudlow. Look at it, it's freaking beautiful and majestic. Right, I'm just going to scan three things on here. And I would imagine that's all I need to do. And then once this rolls around, and it's gone past the old 100% uh, marker, I should get given my freebies. There we go. Right, so all I'm going to do now is just jump in my ship, out of my ship, and just wait for that to actually happen, people. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Ha! Excellent, eh? 
I mean, I'm not overly too fussed. I, I do want to see what the last egg is going to be. I don't know whether it gives hint of what egg you're going to get inside of the optional message that biological horror companion egg. So I think that is just going to be the biological horror, you know, the green thing with multiple eyes. I'm not too fussed about the 900 Quicksilver and inventory slots. I could quite easily sort of fob those off, to be fair. And I am going to be doing the holiday festive tours very soon. In fact, this evening. So this is the actual Monday. This is my lunch break. I'm going to fly up into the old Nexus and I'm going to end the mission early. I'm not really fussed about that last optional quest. Mainly because it's just a hassle of logging in and out of the expedition all the time. Yeah, I know I'm a bit of a completionist. I would like to do all optional milestones. Oh, I'm on the fence with this one, people. I do and I don't. I'm not overly fussed. I mean, I haven't got anywhere I can put that egg and I've already got it on my main save anyway. So I'm not overly fussed. So yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to end it. I'm just going to end off my expedition. So, you know, if these things don't appeal to, to you, if these pets don't mean much to you, head on over, do as I'm about to do now. I'm going to end on off and I'm going to be taking a load of stuff with me. I think I'm going to take all this out first though, before it allows me to finish off. And I'll be putting all that stuff back in again in a moment, or some of it anyway, the ones that I want to keep of those, or the things that I might think are interesting for my next expedition. Okay, so do I fill this up now, or do I come out of it? How do I do this? Yeah, I can't choose anything now. End expedition then, I guess. Yeah, accept, all right? And now I can choose the things that I want to bring back with me. All right, I won't be a moment, people. So all I'm going to do is repackage out some of this stuff. That I, that I brought into this expedition and take it back with me, you know? Yeah. Okay, chance when I feel I'm ready to end off this expedition, I said to head to end expedition. And the Septimondo. Yeah, I'm good with that. There you go, it's going to tally everything up for us, which is pretty darn lovely. I mean, a lot of this stuff I'm already going to carry over because it's cloud saved now for myself. You know, I'm in the beta program, so pretty darn lovely. There you go. Totting all that up. This is looking great. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I took out quite a lot of sentinels in this one. Don't know whether that's already popped up. I've been paying the greatest attention. But look at all that. Look at all the quicksilver. 9,900 quicksilver. That's insane. Yeah, it'll probably come up with the optional milestones as well in a moment. Then I'm probably going to be regretting ending off only. Oh, yeah, cool. Brilliant. There we go. Finish Expedizione! Done. Now we're going back to my main save. Now something I might do, people, is rather than retrieve everything out of that console, is just leave it there for when the next expedition starts. At least I don't have to find a new home for it. I can just sort of offload it and put it all back in again, as and when the time comes. So let's just jump in my ship, out of my ship to create a save. And I think I'm good. I'm good. There's nothing that I really need from there. There's nothing that... I'm just crying out that it needs to be used. But there we go, people. All set now for my next expedition. So I'm hoping that's useful to you. At least you got to see all the different sort of companions that you're going to get. You can make you can make up your own mind whether this is worthwhile doing for yourself. For myself, it wasn't. But there we go. I mean, I got some additional slots for my exosuit. And I also got some additional qu Quicksilver, which is always good. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.